What's up everyone? So back again, this is another update video on my coding journey. And essentially, if you're new to the channel, first time on my video, basically I'm documenting myself learning how to code and specifically I'm learning front end right now. But eventually I'll mess around if I have the time to learn other stuff. But focus right now is on JavaScript. And let me tell you, that junk is hard. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say, oh, it's easy. It's very difficult and uh, when I did HTML and CSS like I got it like a couple like days already figured out how to make a website and I was like yo this junk's easy and then all of a sudden again the JavaScript I was like oh this is gonna be a breeze and I was like okay we started off with the uh, the basics like numbers strings you know true false no on the final that basic stuff I was like all right this is not bad and then we got to Dom and now I'm like, bro, what is going on? So uh, basically just keeping you updated. Obviously most of us at the time I'm filming this, we're either stuck at home or we're at the grocery store or in between somewhere else. But most of the time, um, can't we do much besides go home and either grind on uh, coding or simply do whatever you want stuck at home basically. So this right here on the screen, I'm not gonna show you too any um, like stuff I've learned right now because I'm not at that point yet, but basically I'm in a course. I'm sure if you've taken this one by Traverse Media, I think it's, um, it's on my other screen. Yes, yeah, the 20 web projects. This one is the, I think the second project. I haven't, I was working on other courses at the moment, but I just happened to have this one as my background for you to see. And I don't know what I did wrong with the, um, right here, but like, it's like overlapping. And I don't know why it's doing that, but um, pretty much, you see, you click it, prices change, and then you know you switch it out. Boom! And I haven't even completed this project yet. I just want to show you like some basic stuff right now. But um, currently, this is update video, just telling you what I've been up to. And um, once I actually learn how to create stuff from scratch with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, then I'll start making videos of me actually building that and showing you how I did that. So if you want to see that progress, see what I create, then definitely. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And I've already made videos of me doing like UX, UI design. So that requires zero coding. You literally just need Figma or whatever um, design software out there. And you can make some sort of um, app, website, whatever you want to. But as far as coding, it's taking me a lot more time to grasp and understand. So that's why I'm going to spend most of my time just learning right now. And then once I have like a, enough knowledge to actually showcase or so-called teach then i'll actually put that out there but i think it's um friedman i don't I remember the actual name starts with f the one where you actually learn better by teaching so i'm gonna try to implement that as soon as i'm able to actually teach some stuff but so far i mean i know the basics but that's about it i'm not gonna sit here and try to tell you because i'm sure people watching this have much more knowledge and it's only been like um i don't even know how long it's been what like two two plus weeks or so where i've been mainly focusing on javascript so it's starting, it's starting to click because I'm right now where it's like you get into the, um, the documents, the DOM. You can see stuff in here and like simple stuff like, uh, let's see. What we got in here? This should be a quick, quick run through. Actually, uh, this isn't even a, um, where's that? Wait, it's a body. Right here. Let's add, we got a div, we got a class container. So it's simply like, uh, for instance, let's see if I can do this on here. So const container equals document dot let's do query selector selector boom and that's a class so i gotta put the little period there and then boom hit enter and it says it's already been declared but like yeah because since i'm using const.logs on here but now stuff like this on actual um javascript like your actual code editor and then you'd like append the child and stuff like that. That's what I'm currently focusing on right now. So once I get good at that, I'll try to either make some sort of video, like something basic, like um, like clicking the button, it turns blue or something like that, or whatever I can keep think of at the time. But for now, this is pretty much update what I've been up to. And let me know any uh, resources down below of you learning JavaScript in particular, because I know there's a lot of people that have recommendations, but uh, one thing I've noticed I don't like that I see like a lot of people do is they teach JavaScript with like the basics, like super, super simple. Like for instance, um, 
like just this, like you put, um, you know, const container equals document that create selector. But then when you actually try to implement this into like this thing right here, it's so much more complicated. There's like if else, so much different things that you have to know in order for it to work. And some of the courses, they're not very good at teaching that. But um, right now I am taking a lot. I bought a lot of courses and I got into some like the fancy ones out there. I'll show you, I'll make videos in the future, but um, pretty much I'm trying to test out everything to see what makes sense. And it seems like so far the number one thing is actually trying to build something that has no sort of uh, like tutorial behind it. Like this, this is a copy and paste. Like I can literally copy exactly what um, Traverse Media makes and I'll make it. But like if I were to build this from scratch, like I could be lost. So I'm figuring out that um, there's certain course I'm taking where it's literally a project and there's no tutorials on the internet. So you have to go out and research, find ways to make it, which is making it a lot more fun where I can actually code more and then I can actually build stuff and learn faster instead of me hearing like a um, cookie cutter way of learning. But that's just me. I'm pretty sure everyone coding or learning how to code knows exactly what I'm talking about. But um, that's pretty much quick update video. Nothing too fancy for today. I just haven't posted in what, like a week plus. So I'll just keep you updated. And again, link any YouTube videos if you can any um course websites if you don't have the website just type the name in or any um like code academy free code camp stuff like that and then also books i know a lot of people recommend books i tried reading one of the books and like um this was like what day two or day three me learning javascript and i just got lost but other than that let's connect hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video peace out